This is Mario Central, continuing the enthusiasm left off from the last episode, but now we have to halt that enthusiasm because Kami Koopa has seen what we've done. <laughs> she probably was expecting the Goomba King and his awesome mustache to take us down. Now, it's funny how they didn't really talk about his mustache here, but in Mario 64 DS, he went to great lengths about talking about his mustache. He was like, oh, how did I get beat by a mustacheless dinosaur like Yoshi? <laughs> He went on a huge tirade, tirade about that one. But here, oh my god, okay, this theme, Bowser's theme, listen to this for just a second. It is one of the best themes for Bowser you'll ever hear. I mean, can't you just see him walking in to like a, a room and with this theme going on? Just listen to it for a second. They should use this in some future Mario or something. Like, seriously, it is the greatest theme for him when he walks into a room or something. Like, honestly, even in the Mar Mario Luigi RPGs, they should use this for him. It's so good. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You can beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> More to work, Karma Koopa. Those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's the one of Koopa Bros' fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry! Oh, what's going on? hey -ya! Starshine! Here come the Koopa Bros! Uh-huh, oh yeah! We're the coolest of cool! Yeah. Kami Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, we've got going on the power of teamwork. Together, we could put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am! Ready, everybody? Oh, snap! Oh! Russ! Russ! This is all! How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh, yeah! Excellent, truly! Really. I'm not easily impressed, either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him without attack. Well, take him, King Bowser! By the way, my Cooper Bros. Uh, about the captured Star Spirit have locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Eh, nobody, sir. You know we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Get back to the fortress and guard that Star Spirit! <laughs> what were they thinking? Honestly, they didn't even leave one of the Koopa Bros there. They're just like, we gotta show up because we gotta show them the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> the uh, true American attack. Oh man, that is qu <laughs> Bowser's the only one thinking sometimes. Not all the time though, even Bowser has his share of follies. <laughs> and we get the Hammer Throw badge. I almost forgot that was up there because Usually I would pass that tree and not even notice that spring, as obvious as that is, but believe it or not. <laughs> and now we come to the very relaxing Toad Town. This is the main hub of this game. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town, the town is in an uproar. The princess kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. I don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save our highness. Don't worry, Toad, I'll save Her Highness, and I'll also save your voice, because I'm going through a tough time just doing it. <laughs> oh, Luigi's singing! What are you singing, Luigi? Call Mr. L. That's his name. That name again is Mr. L. <laughs> Luigi was thinking up his own theme song or trying to boast his singing career because he was living in the shadow of Mario all this time. He was probably thinking, well, I gotta think of something to do. I mean, this man has basically taken over my life. He was probably thinking of a future career in opera where it was like, Luigi at the opera, coming to a theater near you, or Mr. L, a future villain in all of your movies. He was probably planning on becoming an actor as well. 
well. He couldn't predict you're Luigi. I mean, he has to do things in order to separate himself from him and his brother. <laughs> Who else is going to look out for Luigi but Luigi? <laughs> well, Mario, uh, I, you know what I like so much? If you haven't played Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, then you probably shouldn't listen to me. But at the end, Mario speaks a full sentence. I was like, whoa, what is this? I think that was the first time in the history of Nintendo that that has ever happened. Where Mario or any of its Nintendo characters just spoke a full sentence. I mean, Charles Martinet in one uh, video game conference, I remember he was Mario very, uh, very briefly. I think there's a video of it somewhere where he was just at like a Toys R Us or something. And he was just uh, behind the screen and you could see like an electronic face of Mario. And uh, he was just talking there, but it's not the same, right? In the games, he's never spoken full sentences, so that was that was so interesting to see that when I saw that ending. I was like, whoa, what is this? Like, don't you just love that everything in this house is green and red? Did you see that? There were two green and red mugs uh, for Mario and Luigi. There was the green and red bedrooms, the green and red cabinets, so they clearly have each other's stuff marked, because I guess they don't want it to get it disor disorganized, right? And they don't want to confuse each other's stuff. Like, you pull up these green and blue overalls, Mario's like, <laughs> Wait a second, these aren't mine. Did I take it from the green drawer or the red drawer? Is it mixed up? <gasps> Who messed this up? <laughs> that is a very clean and very easy lifestyle to live. You just know everything where yours is by just telling the color of it. Oh, it's red. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> nice. Now I finally, you know what's funny is that I, I finally organized my room and it's just so much better this way. I mean, I could just find so much more stuff now. What's up, toads? You know, it's funny, in this town, I never end up talking to a lot of these toads. I never do. I always just come here probably for the shop, just general exploration, or coming here for the bad shop, which we'll see in just a moment. But I never really talk to the toads very much. You know that guy, uh, Russ T or whatever, does he give out information? Does he actually tell you what to do in the game? Or no, 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 that's actually someone else. But what does he do in the game? Like, he said he'll be telling, he knows a wealth of information. So that's kind of, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure what he exactly he does, so maybe I'll come back to him at some point and see if he gives out like certain things about the game. Maybe that's what he'll do. Maybe he'll be like, oh, there's an invisible block here and such. <laughs> and you have to go hit it at this angle specifically. <laughs> Who knows? But here's the item shot. You, you can sell things, you can buy things. I typically don't really come here other than to just sell things or store things. What you can do is you can store things in the shop, doesn't matter how much stuff you store it, they'll have an unlimited amount, but um, you can store an, uh, as much as you want. They have an unlimited amount of space, is what I meant to say. But because your inventory, you can't hold, I think, more than eight items, eight or ten items, so you have to make sure that you use these shops pretty wisely. Master is wandering the world to purify his mind and body. Master was a strong man. He's going to come back a very, very strong man. We'll wait here, right here, until the Master returns. Oh, what diligent students I shall come there in just a second. That is a very good place to test your abilities in Paper Mario. Trust me, we'll be coming there for sure. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name is starting me up a little business in Toad Town. I'm still setting up, though. I want to see you back here when we open, all right? Don't worry, I will be back here. This is another important part of the Toad Town you'll be coming back to very often. But we haven't passed the prologue yet, so we won't be unlocking anything anytime soon. What's up with these black toads? It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Guys, yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. Sorry, but no. Wow, what's with the... I thought toads were supposed to be positive. You're not supposed to say all of those no's. That's not cool, man. I don't like the look of those black toads. I'm not trying to say... I'm not trying to be racist, but... They just use so many no's. That's not... That's not how toads are. Yes, hello. You can read any letters that arrive for you or your other party members. Please drop by now and then to check and see if you've received any mail. Well... Oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you... Li wait, you can read mail here? Oh, dude, wait. Oh, this is cool. What? Red and blue Goombas. Here you go. Goodbye, Mario. You are a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being bad. So when you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? We'll be waiting. Red and blue Goomba bros. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I didn't know that's what actually happened to them. Now they're good. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Gumbario. You were a good impression on them. Very, very good. Is there anything in that tree? No. I'm going to be checking every single tree now. Merlana's out. Oh, oh, yeah. That's not obvious at all. 
<laughs> Next you'll see you'll have some recorded message that you just left there and no one was home. Oh yeah, you know, I've heard it a million times. You'd think there would be an invisible block there, but there is not, unfortunately. Like, honestly, it's it seems perfect. You have a pedestal full of nothing, and then... You would think something would be there, but unfortunately not. But that is so... I didn't... You know what? I think I have to explore more of Toad Town a little bit more because... You know what? There's just some things I didn't know about. I didn't know about that mailroom. I didn't know about that old man with the books. Uh, I probably, you know, visited them at certain points in the game, which I think you have to at some point. You have to visit a lot of people in the Toad Town. But uh, I never really see what they do and that's actually very cool I, it, that gives a little backstory it's like oh hey look the red and blue goombas turn good yay <laughs> the goomba can is still bad though <laughs> unfortunately now this place is very very cool I, I i love the setting i love the music it's just so so calming i really really like it my name is my lovely my noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing i can help you find what you seek my twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden my my tell me shall i read your fortune uh sure uh no forget it <laughs> now what she will do is basically tell you uh what you need to do if you're at lost at some point during the game go to her she'll help you out now this guy up here this is where you want to collect star pieces because he merlot will give you badges and very good badges it depends Obviously, the good ones are worth a lot more. And right now, we only have about six. Oh, we have three. Okay, I thought we had six. Never mind. We only have three star pieces. Right now, it's not worth it to get any of these. The pretty lucky badge is actually pretty good, so I think I'm going to save up for that. But uh, right now, we don't have enough for any of these. He has some pretty good badges here. It just depends on what you want to get. I mostly probably aim for the zap tap, the pretty lucky, those type of badges. Oh, uh, did I make you go away? Well, yes, you did. Your inventory is not- It's too expensive for me. <laughs> Lower your prices, and I think I'll come back. Don't worry, I will be back here for sure. So this is a very important place to come by, especially if you have trouble in the game. And just in general, this place is so soothing to come to. I mean, if you just need a little bit of relaxation, let's see what's back here, actually. I'm curious, there may be- a Oh, look at that, a star piece. Well, what do you know? I'm finding out things about this game that I haven't really found out before because when I've played through this game, I played this, through this game twice and I really, I just kind of played through this game for the sake of playing through this game. I never really checked the little nuances and that's the things that make this Paper Mario game and I did, I do know some secret things about this game but not a lot so that's why in this playthrough I just hope to kind of look around a lot more, just kind of get a more better experience when playing this game that's why i decided to do it for you guys i thought it would be a good idea this is just so soothing isn't it i really i really like it i mean listen to that it, it's just one continuous b one continuous melody that nice zoo. it's so relaxing i could just fall asleep to it welcome mario we've been waiting for you we're the seven star spirits our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Starhaven, a place high above the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please live and listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Starhaven. They stole our prized treasure, or the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is a powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser's been making missions like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend, when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seemed content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he'll wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Road safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we Seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... 
Alas, we are we're nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take Star Wars back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario, you are our last hope, and we will... Ah, oh, Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. And so the epic tale begins. Now we find out the backstory of the stars, and now we get to see a little bit of Peach. <laughs> this whole time we don't know what she's been up to, so let's find out, shall we? Oh, of course, she's just in her room, <laughs> sobbing to herself. Don't worry, Peach, I'll be there in just a moment. Probably eight chapters later. <laughs> the Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue going the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Oh, I know. I'll just wait until... Oh, wait. No, that's not a person worth waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you don't want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant a request that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care of Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You'd better not cause trouble. Bleh, yeah, well, duh. You see? Even she has problems. Every time she finishes her sentence, she'll end up coughing something up like a furball. <laughs> it's, it always happens because she's always like, bleh, heh, heh, ha. <laughs> you can tell she's getting annoyed of her own voice. <laughs> Being over a hundred years old probably won't help either. Hello, Princess Please, My name is Twink. And here, you're going to meet these two. These two are going to be a very, play a very prominent role in this game. And that doesn't happen very often with many Mario games. This is what makes these Paper Mario games and in general Mario and Luigi games so special. Is they give Peach and others much more better roles that, compared to the original Mario games. So if you want a Mario game with story, come and play these games. It's right here waiting for you. <laughs> Trust me, if you, were one of, if you were like me and you decided, well, ah, this game probably isn't that great. I, I'm just, I don't think it's going to be that great. It is. I think you will like it. If you're a fan of RPGs, I think you're really going to like this game. And especially if you want a Mario game with a story, you're definitely going to like this series. Actually, I just called Cup the Sky a day ago. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's all right. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. <laughs> now that's wishful thinking. Didn't you see me just get lightning bolted out of the castle? <laughs> I mean, lordy. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Go, Twink, for the good of us all! Oh, wait, Twink, wait one second. Can you stop? Please tell Mario that. I'm fine, and he shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? Of course! I'm telling your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Oh, how nice. You just you just don't get this type of innocence anymore. <laughs> just joking. Don't take me seriously. Mario, where are you? 